So you too, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video and Patrick Queen with another number. He just came into the league last year. Obviously, he was a rookie. Uh, but going from LSU to the Baltimore Ravens, uh, he went from wearing the number 8 to 48. And the 48, I'm not a really big fan of that number on linebackers. But for some reason, I don't know. It's just different with the Ravens. It doesn't look as ugly with the Ravens. So that 48 grew on me. And I know it grew on a lot of y'all too. And we saw, of course, on Twitter... The exchange between Patrick Queen and Lamar Jackson, friendly exchange, where Patrick Queen, once that whole thing with the jersey number swap came out and it became official, Patrick Queen was like, hey, LJ, let me hold that number eight. But Lamar wouldn't budge, of course. And of the, the rule with that is that if, if you decide that you want to change your jersey number, you have to buy out all the jerseys that are left. So, you know, with Lamar, like... It's super hard to even get a Lamar Jackson jersey. I know people that are still looking and searching for Lamar Jackson jerseys. So if he were to buy them, buy them all out, oh boy, that would be a lot of money. <laughs> that would not be a good investment for him. Uh, but with Patrick Queen, uh, I'm sure a lot of he got a lot of jersey sales too. But it's, it can't be on a level of Lamar Jackson, obviously. But now he's number six, and it's going to take some getting used to for sure. Uh, but Hey, it is what it is now. That's who was the last person that had number six for the Ravens? Was it Care Vedvik? I feel like it was him, but I'm not 100% sure. But either way, now we got, uh, he's going to be number six. Malik Harrison, number 40. Uh, LJ Fort is 58. And we the, the number's just going to be all over the place. But I think, I feel like Patrick Queen is the only Raven that changed their number. Because Deshaun Elliott, just earlier today, he tweeted about it. That he said he talked to Sam Cook. And was like, hey, look, man. Let me get that number four. But Sam Cook was like, no, nah, I'm straight. I, I'll keep it. I'll hold on to that. So Deshaun Elliott said he's going to continue rocking out with the 32. And he actually had a couple no number changes himself. Because I think his first number was 21. Then when Eric Weddle, he got cut. So then he changed his number to 32. So he's rocking with the 32 right now. And of course, Marlon Humphrey, uh, a couple years back, uh, he went from 29. And then <laughs> Earl Thomas came aboard. And Marlon Humphrey changed uh, to 44. And that's what he's been rocking with. For the longest now. Anthony Averett, he used to be number 34, and he changed it to 23. Or is he 34 now, and he used to be 23? It's one of those two. I forget. Um, so there's been, and Nick Boyle was another one. Nick Boyle used to be 86, but then he changed his number to 82. Man, um, so th these numbers, they, they go a little crazier than you think. Like, when you sit down and really think about it, it's like, oh, man, yeah, these dudes been going through number changes. But now with the new rule in place where you can do the college numbers, it's been even, even crazier. So, anyway, Patrick Queen, New Jersey. Shout out to everybody that has his or had his previous jersey because that ain't his jersey anymore. Now it's officially a throwback after one year. It's a throwback. But it's all good. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. And just like Patrick Queen is when it comes to the number 48, we out.